University of Kentucky Opera Theater kicks off its 2024-2025 season with W.A. Mozart's remarkable comedic opera, The Marriage of Figaro, this weekend. And Dr. Everett McCorvey and Christopher Burchett join us now to give us the show details. Thank you so much for joining us Well, today, thank guys. you for having us. We're always excited to come out and share information about the opera. I mean, we love it, and trust me, everyone <laughs> talks so highly of hearing your voice in every capacity, so let me ask you, when can we experience the Marriage of Figaro? The, the Marriage of Figaro is this weekend, okay. Friday night, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon. Ooh. So the uh, we, we do it all in one weekend at the Lexington Opera House. So Saturday, Friday night, 7.30, Saturday at 2 o'clock, and 7.30, and then Sunday at 2 o'clock. Oh. And we are double cast. Mm -hmm. That means we have two different uh, cast that will be performing. So one cast will be performing Friday night, Saturday afternoon, then another cast Saturday night and Sunday afternoon. Oh, That's I'm so excited. This is going to be a great show. Can you kind of talk about the preparation that went into everything for you all? Well, they all started last spring, late wow. last spring, preparing their roles for the show. And then when school came back in August, uh, they went into music preparation. And about three weeks ago, we went into staging. We were, were moving around the stage and, and blocking uh, out the show. And so it's been, that's the process. And it's with orchestra and scenic design and costume. It's a big, big show. Wigs. Yeah, oh. the whole nine yards. So tell us, if no one has ever experienced mm -hmm. The Marriage of Figaro, what is it about? So Figaro, it's first, it's probably one of the most famous operas, which is very exciting. Mozart wrote many operas, but Figaro, has it was premiered in 1786. Oh, wow. So this, this show, this opera is over 200 years old and it stood the test of time but it is a comedy about the nobility mm -hmm. you know back in the 1700s you couldn't make fun of the nobilities you had the count you have the countess and uh, then their stewards Figaro and Susanna want to get married but the count says that well if she gets married I want to invoke my right to have the first night. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's saucy. It's Look saucy. That. Yeah, and so they spend the whole opera trying to foil the count so that he can't have his first night. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm a, such a huge fan of the opera. For maybe someone who wants to kind of dip their toes in, this yes. will be their first opera too. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. Anything they should know, is this a great starter show? It's a perfect starter show. It's a comedy. Uh, it is in Italian, but we have super titles, so that means that people can uh, read it, it uh, because it's better for our students if they learn the Italian, because that's what they're going to be doing when they perform in opera houses around the world. And Chris has been the director, and so he's been taking them through all the paces, yeah. and he has a 35-year career year career singing opera, and uh, so uh, he knows the... Uh, he knows the drill. Well, we are so excited to have you join the opera, and we are so glad that both of you have this opportunity for people to see The Marriage of Figaro, mm -hmm. especially this Friday, right? Yep. Friday, Saturday afternoon, and Saturday Sunday. night, and Sunday afternoon. Look don't at that. It. I don't have to get their tickets. Yes. How can we get tickets? <laughs> yes, uh, through Central Bank, Central Bank Center, okay. and you can just centralbankcenter.com, or you can call lexingtonoperahouse.com. And, but okay. make sure it's from one of those two sites because yeah. there are scalpers. Yes. And if you pay over $50, you have paid too much. <laughs> got gotcha you for telling that. Thank you both so much for being thank here. You. Well, thank, thank you. So thank you. Absolutely.